My name is Frank Spica, here with Frank Fixates, and I am standing in front of my very first project, which is a 1978 Honda Gold. So to start off, I'll just give a quick walk around of the bike. Um, as you can see, this is not in the best shape. Uh, I got it from a guy who had it sitting in his backyard. Um, it was for $200. Obviously, you can see there's a bunch of stuff missing. Carburetor's missing. There's no seat, so moving it around is pretty hard. Oh, and not to mention that there's no brakes at all. So even when you do get it moving, it's hard to get it to stop. Um, but yeah, there's, I definitely have my work cut out for me. It's definitely not in the best shape. Um, there's even a rat's nest in the front gas tank compartment. So that'll be an interesting problem to fix. But we'll, we'll start off with to get it taken apart. And then uh, we'll see where we can get from there. Another couple things. Um, lots of wires that go to nowhere. Lots of grounds. Don't know where they connect necessarily. Missing clearings. Rusty exhaust, fender looks in terrible shape, suspension definitely needs to be replaced. Um, luckily most of the engine components are there, so maybe we can get it tested and maybe get it sold to somebody who wants to restore, but I will be doing an electric vehicle swap on this, so all this stuff here, that's not going to be there, and I'll just try and use as much of the original mounting points as possible in order to get the batteries in, uh, uh, the BMS, and the motor all hooked up with the original shaft drive. Um, so in the front we have a wheel with no brakes like I said but one of the interesting things is that front forks are really loose if I stand over it and I use the front handlebar so if we can get a good angle of it it's pretty pretty rickety so definitely will need to be fixed yeah, so a little bit better look at what I was talking about with the front wheel. If I turn the handlebars when it's tur hard, turned it hard left, um, you can kind of see the left part of the fork kind of jostling around. It's what's making this such a pain in the butt for me to move it around, but hopefully we can get that fixed. I plan on completely redoing everything, so won't be a problem for too much longer. So I think it might start with some of the easier stuff to take off and maybe hit it with a little bit of penetrating spray just to make sure that everything kind of comes off with as much ease as possible. Obviously there's going to be a lot of difficult things about this project so if there's any place for me to make things easier for myself, definitely going to want to do that. It's looking a little dusty, crusty up in here, so I think I might hit it with some degreaser, might uh, spray it off the washer or something like that and cover up some of the engine ports to make sure that I don't bust engine any more than it already is. So it definitely doesn't take a pro to know that I definitely have my work cut out for me with this new motorcycle, but thankfully I have Aria here to hold me over um, if I ever have the itch to ride. I think that's all for today with the walkthrough. I We'll probably have a whole entire video of the teardown for the next video. So until then, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.